Hey, it's Michelle Weinemerbaum back in the It's Our Turn Dot Style Test Kitchen. Today, we're going to make eggplant rollatini. Perfect recipe for all those beautiful eggplants growing on the vines. Here's our eggplant. I'm going to teach you a little something about how to pick out the perfect eggplant or when it's on the vine to make sure it's right. You have to listen very closely and you kind of twine it. When it has that hollow sound, it's ready to go. And this eggplant is ready to go into my eggplant rollatine. First step is we're going to cut up our eggplant and I'm going to show you how to make the very, very light egg batter that we'll fry it in. So we'll begin. I'm going to clop, clop off the top of the eggplant, the same with that little nubby base. As you can see, the whole eggplant has been peeled. What I'm going to do, a lot of times people cut their eggplant horizontally. I like to do it the long way, so this way I get more of the eggplant to roll. And I do it very thin. Now what we're going to do is the batter, the very light egg batter that's going to coat our eggplant before frying. Just a cup, one cup of bleach flour. Just one cup. But inside of it, I'm going to put a pinch of salt. Just a little bit. I'll give it two pinches. Ah, oh, what the heck. Let's give it three. One for good luck. And a little bit of pepper maybe a quarter teaspoon, not that much. Now my secret, a lot of people just leave it at that, but what I like to do is add a little bit more flavor to the batter itself, not just to the cheese, is I put a little bit, probably a tablespoon of granulated garlic. That adds to it, and I'll mix that up. Next, we'll add our egg for the egg wash batter. What I like to do is I crack each egg individually, first in a glass, to make sure it doesn't have any blood spots or if I get any eggshells in it. So, just two eggs. That one looks pretty darn good to me. There's one. And you can tell it's fresh because the egg yolk is intact and there's nothing leaking out into the white. Two. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, enter that one, just going to beat it up. It's as simple as that. And it all get incorporated, mixed good. Okay, now the fun begins. trash over here, what we'll do is we'll take our ever so thin eggplant slices and first dip it in our flour, tap off the excess into our egg and we want it to again drip off the excess because we don't want a fried egg on our eggplant slice. And again, dip it into the batter, shake off the excess, and let it jump into the pan to get ready to go over to the fryer. We'll do that with all our slices. Okay, so now it's time to fry up these bad boys. A good way to tell if your oil is hot, and I do have oil in here, I should have told you, is I put a little bit of the batter on the fork, scrape it off just a little bit. And I dip it into the batter and it starts to bubble. And I'm going to dip it into my batter. Look how nice and hot that is. <laughs> Woo! 
I only put one or two pieces, well actually two pieces, into the pan because I want, I don't want them to, first of all, lower the temperature so quickly, but also I want to give it each an individual spa bath in the oil. There you go. I only end it for a very short time. Take it out. Not ready yet. But when it is, I'm going to put it on a paper towel so it absorbs some of the excess oil. Check underneath. Now that our eggplant is done frying and cooling off, first of all, we're very lucky if no one eats our pieces as they are now because they're delicious, just as they are, but we're going to make them even better. What we're going to do is make the stuffing that goes inside the rollatine. Okay, we're going to just take a pound of ricotta cheese. I like the part skim, you know, saving those extra three calories where we can. Okay, we get our ricotta cheese. Okay, next I'm going to put in just a pinch of garlic again. Very little, not much. And then a little bit of salt. Again, I like two. It's my lucky number. And just a little itty bitty bit. Of nutmeg. You want the essence of nutmeg, not too much because honestly, nutmeg could be overpowering. I just want a little bit. There it is. And then, of course, we're going to just need one egg. I'm going to go get that egg. Hi! I forgot the egg. Pork planning, pork planning. Oh, it just laid. And you know I like to have it in a cup first to make sure. I'm not going to use the lid. Look, beautiful egg, fresh as can be, right in that puppy. And then what we do? That is off the chazane. And of course, what's a filling without some fantastic grated cheese? Okay, let's put it into our batter. I'm going to put in a handful of our mozzarella. Delicious. Now the rollatini train is going to roll on by. What we're going to do is we're going to line our pan with some tomato sauce so it doesn't stick. I made this tomato sauce with roasted red peppers, tomato, and garlic. Comes the train. Nice and cool. A tablespoon or so. It's a lot more than a tablespoon, wouldn't you say? And we just roll. Nothing fancy and just lay them down. Continue with all our slices of eggplant. The ones remain, the ones that remain, I should say, after the crew helps themselves to it. That's okay. we have our eggplant rollatine all rolled up and almost ready to go into the oven. We're just going to put some cheese on top of each piece. I know I go a little crazy with the cheese, but if you're going to do it, just do it. Go for the gusto. This will now go into the oven at a temperature of 425 degrees 
for 30 minutes. We'll see you when it's ready. Okay, I believe it's ready. Oh, yes it is. Now the fun part. Tasting the eggplant rollatine, which I can tell you already is fantastic because I've made it a million times. The eggplant, so thin, wrapped around the cheese. Cheese dripping. You know, I'm a good cook. And you can be too, follow this recipe. So I want to thank you for joining us here on It's Our Turn, That Style. It's your turn and do it with style.